I'm going to read from the ancient Aramaic prayer of Jesus, the Lord's Prayer by Rocco A. Erico. And this morning, I'm going to read the uh, section on a misconception of prayer. Prayer is not telling God what to do. I believe he knows how to run his universe. Don't you agree? He doesn't have to be constantly reminded of our needs, nor of the needs of our relatives and friends. And when you pray, do not repeat your words like the pagans, for they think that because of much talking they will be heard. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. It's from Matthew chapter 6, verses 7 and 8. So prayer is not telling God, but it is listening to what God would tell us. The purpose of prayer is not to change God, but to change us. Do we really think that through prayer we may be able to move God to do something he wouldn't otherwise do? No prayer can make God more loving than he already is, or than he was in the past, or than he shall be in the future. No, what prayer accomplishes is this. It helps us to understand ourselves. It attunes us to spiritual forces around us and in us. And it helps us to understand our world and our fellow man. We must also fully realize that we can consciously work with this inner intelligence to help us solve problems we face in life. In fact, that is why Jesus gave us this method of prayer, or what I call attuning attitudes. Hmm. There is only one power in the universe, and through the goodness of this one power, we can face our fears, which cause blockages, and overcome them. It takes courage, truthfulness, and freedom to face our felt ourselves squarely. That is, to truly see our fears, hates, and resentments. But by so doing, we will most naturally and spontaneously tune out the bad and tune in all the good. Our minds and hearts are then, at the moment, free from fear, which limits and restricts the creative intelligence within us. Fear shuts the door to practical and sound living. But freedom opens the door of life for our good. Jesus' understanding of prayer was one of direct and intimate communion with the life forces, Allah. God is the essence of all life, both visible and invisible, both tangible and intangible. Prayer is our means of hearing the still, small voice of our loving Father. And when we attune our minds with the proper attitude, then we can trap God's counsel and thereby be of one accord with Him. This will enable us to live in harmony with His universal principles instead of in opposition to them. That ends the reading for this morning. <clears throat>